Welcome to Lifestyle with Neeraj. It is not an easy task for men to achieve that well-dressed look. It can take years of experimentation with, with, with different wardrobes until one attains that professional look. There are several points that can help you along which we will cover. I cannot overemphasize the importance of learning to dress well. If you are not aware of some basic rules, your credibility may be adversely impacted. Just consider those of your peers who are aware of proper grooming habits are going to notice all your mistakes, although they are not going to say anything. My main purpose in presenting this information is to convince you that you do not need a large budget to dress well. Your clothing reflects your taste rather than your wealth. Just keep the following points in mind when you are shopping for the office next time. It is important that you familiarize yourself with choosing a dress shirt if your job or an occasion calls for one. Unlike other shirts worn for casual events, a dress shirt has to be reasonably conservative. Avoid shiny, bright or deep colors. Nowadays, blue has become a popular choice in offices. Many men are wearing lighter shades of blue. If you are going to wear a tie, take special care in choosing the color, size and style. You should be able to close the center button snugly but comfortably. The collar should fit the neck snugly without extra material leaving a gap. There are several collar sizes to choose from including spread, point, button down and so on. The point collar has the narrowest tie space. It forces you to use a narrow tie knot. It was the most common style for decades, but it appears to have given way to spread collars. I would recommend a spread collar in virtually all cases, but would advise against the widespread collar for professional applications. Collar spread can also be matched to the face. Point collars work for white faces, whereas widespread for thin faces. You can see that the tie knot will have to complement the collar. Fortunately, the spread collar can accommodate a narrow tie knot, such as the four in hand or the bulkier half windsor. The full windsor is seldom used nowadays. The four in hand is useful if the tie material is heavier whereas the half insert will work for lighter or heavier materials. You must be able to demonstrate complete mastery over the tie and collar combination. If the collar is sloppy or the tie is not tied correctly, the image that will be portrayed is one of incompetence. As you know, Dress shirts come in a large range of prices from $20 to $300. Unfortunately, an expensive dress shirt is not going to look good if the collar, design or fit is not suitable for you. It really doesn't matter that the pattern on the sleeves runs into the pattern on the shoulders or whether it has mother of pearl buttons. If the collar is too loose, the arms are too short or long, or that the fit on the tummy is off. The sleeves should end at the wrist bones or about half an inch beyond the suit sleeve. You will find that the fit at the torso is listed as slim, tapered, or classic. The slim fit works for slim young men but most will prefer a tapered fit. The classic cut is out of fashion today, but will be required by men who suffer from abdominal obesity. There should not be extra material billowing around the waist. Contemporary shirts have a higher cut for the shoulders and the sleeves are narrower. 
I see men who have obvious weight issues wearing contemporary fitting shirts that are simply too tight. This look should be avoided. The shirt material should be reasonably heavy and opaque in 100% cotton. Lighter materials look cheap. I would recommend a t-shirt type undershirt at all times to absorb perspiration. This will keep your fine dress shirts fresh for years. I would recommend a French placket that is no visible placket for a cleaner look. Although a visible or American placket is popular in business applications. As you know, men tend to dress conservatively and flamboyant clothing simply reflects poor taste. However, there are a few items that allow men to exert their individuality and help pick up their outfit. Of these, none is more important than the tie. It is always a good idea to take care and spend time when selecting a tie. Look for quality silk ties. They can range from $15 to $190, but do not be focused on brand names. Your colleagues will notice the color and design on the tie, but they do not care about the name of the manufacturer. You should have a collection of at least 20 ties in your wardrobe. Take care that the material is neither too heavy nor light. Heavier ties will result in thick, bulky knots which are not fashionable. Avoid images on ties except when they are very small. Do not buy paisley designs which will announce that you are old school. Repeating geometrical designs generally work well. A bold splash of color is also acceptable. Take care when selecting the tie to make sure that it suits your outfit. For example, if you are wearing a blue shirt and blue slacks, you may want to wear a red tie with a streak of blue. The tie will reflect your judgment, taste and skill in fashion. It can enhance your credibility in a professional setting, but it can also turn your colleagues off if done incorrectly. Contemporary clothing requires narrow ties. The standard width nowadays is about 3 inches. Very narrow ties are occasionally worn by slim, young men but are inappropriate for all others. Similarly tall, overweight men may want to continue wearing the broader ties from a decade ago. The tie should end at the level of the belt not shorter or longer. Let me add here that the belt should match the color of the shoes. If you are wearing brown leather shoes, then your belt should also be in brown leather. Men's pants are flat front nowadays. The legs are narrower and more fitted and the pants stop just above the heel. Younger men are supporting higher hems so that the socks above the shoes are showing. Again, conservative pant colors are the rule. The material matters less nowadays since there are many fine synthetic fibers available today. Hems are generally preferred but cuffs can also look good occasionally. All older style suits with a loose fit should be discarded immediately unless you want to announce that you refuse to keep up with the times or are too cheap to buy new suits. Contemporary suits are more fitted. Jacket lapels are narrower as well. Some fashion experts recommend that customers choose one size smaller in any new suit that they purchase. Unfortunately, this new look can be uncomfortable and restrictive when driving a car or reaching for something. You can choose to reserve slightly looser clothing for long days at the office. 
Suits can be made from many fine fabrics such as 100% wool, but do not dismiss synthetics. Just keep in mind that finer suits tend to have softer and lighter materials and the suit should not look stiff. There is no need to spend excessively on brand name suits since styles change regularly. Moreover, your body size can change from year to year as well. Just as men can experiment with bright colors with ties, the color of socks can be individualized. Conservative color socks will always be acceptable, but when the opportunity allows, one can choose brighter colors that do not match the outfit for individualized expression. Be prepared to be called a hipster, however. The style of dress shoes has changed as well. Bulky or round toe boxes are unacceptable. Shoes tend to be narrow and pointed. Again, a man with good fashion sense will invest a great deal of time in selecting footwear. Wingtips can be interchanged with plain designs on different days. Since legs are narrower and shorter, more of the shoe shows. Shoes can become the most expensive item of one's wardrobe. Expect to pay a higher premium for name brands, leather soles and quality construction. You will find that black shoes get the most wear at the office, whereas brown shoes are worn for casual use. The exception is the current trend to wear light blue suits where men invariably choose brown shoes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Subscribe if you want to get notification of my future videos. Thank you.